The isolated islands of Pitcairn lie midway between New Zealand and South America, thousands of miles from the nearest continent. We've got Ducey, Henderson and Aweno, which is pristine. One of the few last vestiges that hasn't um, invaded or, you know, it's just Mother Nature's very own. The volcanic beginnings of the islands and their extreme seclusion have allowed a unique and unspoiled marine environment. Water around Pitcairn is the clearest ever recorded. You know, jumping in the water here and you can see the bottom and you don't actually realise how deep it is. It may be 30 metres, it may be 60 metres. The sun can penetrate deep and wide, which allows photosynthetic algae and corals to grow in abundant and diverse varieties. These rich, colourful corals are home to many unique fish populations. Several fish species were first discovered in Pitcairn's waters and continue to thrive here, like the Smith's butterfly fish, the Henderson triple fin, and an endemic species of squirrel fish. An abundance of sharks and other top predators signals a healthy ocean ecosystem. The area's isolation also makes it a refuge for vulnerable marine species, like the endangered green turtle, threatened big eye tuna, and many species of dolphin. Even calving humpback whales spend precious months in Pitcairn's safe waters. Above the sea, Pitcairn's thickly vegetated islands are home to rare plants and animal species, including endemic marine birds. You've got the lorikeet, the fruit dove, the crake, the warbler and the Henderson, um, petrol. Henderson petrol. Preserving this remarkable environment requires protection from overfishing and other harmful activities. So the people of Pitcairn are seeking to create a highly protected, no-take marine reserve. It's really exciting for us as a community to be able to make that kind of contribution. I mean, we, we may be, you know, only the small, one of the smallest populations in the world, but to create the biggest marine reserve pots us on the map. On Ducey, to actually bend down and tickle a cod, you know, that sort of stuff. I would love for that to happen um, so that my grandchildren and their children can see it and for others to come and see our world. <laughs>